Hello and welcome. If you are deploying your web application to a Tomcat server under a specific path, then in most cases you want to make sure that the root path and any possible error messages outside of the scope of your application redirect properly to your web app. You want to do that because of a clean user experience. The user should not see any error messages if he types in the URL of your app and does not enter the correct path at the end. Then there are security aspects because you do not have to leak the fact that you are using Apache Tomcat and the version information which is displayed at the bottom of each error message by default. So let's have a look at how to set this up. For this example I will be using an Apache Tomcat server version 8.5 but the following configuration should be working in any version higher than 7.0. I'm demonstrating this using the Tomcat server running in Eclipse but you can of course work directly with Tomcat and add the web modules to the web app folder directly. Besides your web application, which is named my web app in this case, you need a web app called root. The uppercase letters and the spelling is important. If you add this to a Tomcat without further context configuration, it will be deployed under the root path or the slash without any further path elements. Our simple web application just displays hello world for now, but inside the root web application, you should place an index.jsp file that contains the following code. This sends an HTTP response with status code 301 to the browser, so it knows that this path has been moved permanently to another location. Adjust the path to your web application as needed. So let's see what happens if we open this in a browser. We type in the URL with nothing else but a slash at the end and we get redirected correctly to our web application. But what happens if we type in another path? Then we receive an error message. To prevent these error messages you need a web XML file that you place in a directory called webenv and I prepared one here. I removed a certain part just to show you what happens if we don't have this. So let's rename the file, so it will be considered when we restart our Tomcat. And let's see what happens if we call this. Now it's correctly redirected to our web app. But what happens if we request a certain file? Then the error message shows up again. So let's define a custom error page in our web XML. This means that all the errors that could pop up will be handled by our index.jsp which then correctly redirects to our web application. So if we save this file and restart our Tomcat and request this test file again, we will be correctly redirected to our web application. Thank you for watching this video. In case you liked it, give it a thumbs up and if you did not like it, a thumbs down. Either way, please let me know in the comments what you think. If you do not want to miss any future videos, simply subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to get notifications when a new video is published.